So now let's see how we can work around with echo effect inside of HitFilm. So over here you can see that I have this particular clip and in order to apply the echo effect, I need to go around and click on this clip right here and under effects, I need to go around over here under temporal right here. And here you can see that echo is an option. If I were to press the play button right here, just like this, to preview the video, you can see that it simply plays out like this. But if I were to go around and keep echo right here, so let's just go around and keep the echo effect right here, then what happens is that the echo effect actually uh, plays role. So if I were to go around and play right here, then you can see that it actually overlaps out the frames right here, giving it an echo effect just like this. So now over here, what you can do is you can go around and change around the echo time right here. And you can see that the overlapping changes. You can go around and change around the number of echoes right here, just like this. And as the frames are overlapping, what happens is that you can see that it becomes brighter. You can change around the opacity right here to change around the brightness level right here. So you can go around over here, change around the number of echoes and change around the brightness. And you can go around and change around the decay over here as well. So there's different uh, blending modes right here. So you can average it out, you can exclude it out right here, you can screen it out and so forth just like this as well. So this is what you can do. So if I were to go around and press the play button, you can see that right now, this is the echo effect right here. And it does take a bit of processing power as echo means you're actually going around and then uh, utilizing multiple uh, frames at once. So that is how you can go around and utilize out the echo effect inside of HitFilm. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.